everybody welcome back to my channel it's the oni with thrifty divas and i'm here with a relatively small dollar tree haul for everyone today not for lack of trying but my stores are in a lull and i've spoken to a few people that i'm friends with and their stores are too so I don't know, but I have found that after every lull comes the peak. So I'm gonna stay positive and hope that it's just the lull before the awesomeness. We'll just go with that. Um, I did film a super short Dollar Tree walkthrough for everyone. It's about seven minutes long. Just anything that caught my eye of things that I did not purchase. So go ahead and check that out. If you haven't already, you'll see a little more than what I got here. I have separated everything into category for you and it just is what it is. Not great. They're all not, you know, home runs. It's fine. Um, and this is my third, second or third video I am filming today. So if it looks familiar, that's why. It's the only time I have to film. So I am filming and let's get started. I'm gonna start with food and drink. Um, the first thing I picked up was this for my son, this old orchard healthy balance, white grape and strawberry. It has 10 calories and two grams of sugar per serving. So I just got one of those for him. And then I was looking for the Azul, you know, they always have mango and pineapple. I've been looking for that. My friend Melissa is going to laugh if she's watching this because we've been texting and I've been looking for that now, like all week long and none of my stores have it. They only have the mango. A reason being my stepfather's birthday is in the first week of July. Well, shortly thereafter. Um, and one of his requests is pineapple mojitos. So I'm going to be making him pineapple mojitos. However, I just was going to pick up the pineapple juice from there, you know, like, but no, that it's not happening right now. So I'll keep looking until his birthday. But anyway, what I picked up was one of these Welch's pineapple sodas. I'll put a little splash of there and you know, in there, it might be good. I don't know, but just got one of those. Okay. All right. Then, um, this was on clearance. It's the only reason why I grabbed one. It was 50 cents and it is the, uh, animal crackers, the grace snacks and more animal crackers these are a product of mexico so 50 cents i paid for six packs of those that's super good okay then i got two of these these cars cars sweet and salty mix six ounces that's a pretty good size peanuts raisins cocoa candies and sunflower kernels good until april 21st of next year the next thing I picked up were these Patriotic Oreos. You get four in a pack. I just got two packs. Figured I would just put it out with other stuff um, just for some color. Uh, these are red, white, and blue layers of cream with a popping candy inside. So that's just fun. So I got two of those. Then uh, my friend Sadie over at Sweet SWT Sadie Letter J TV, Sweet Sadie J TV. If you haven't already, go check her out. Tell her Theoni sent you. I saw her haul these and I was like, ooh. And then I found them at my store. So these are the limited limited edition wise golden original potato chips celebrating a hundred years since 1921, and it is 4.75 ounces. So I just picked up two of those bags. They're good until October of this year. Then if you saw in the walkthrough video, <laughs> these were really hard for me to find. The first store I found them in, every single container was melted into a solid mass and all stuck to the cap. But 10 stores later, I finally found them and they are not melted. So yay. It is these Skippy PB Bites graham cracker five grams of protein per serving 5.3 ounces um and they're good until august 28th of this year so i picked up a couple of those and then i picked up this blue loma linda product this is uh for here i think i'm just gonna i got three packs of this because i figured that's good for a side dish for us this is good until June 9th of next year. And this one is a Hawaiian bowl. So it's completely plant-based with pineapple and brown rice. I thought that was really good for a side dish. 
Yeah, or make a fried rice out of it. Something, I don't know. But I picked up three of those for us here. Then I was having a discussion with a cashier. It actually started over <laughs> the Loma Linda products because her daughter was vegan and we had a whole conversation. So then she was saying, she's like, you know what's really good that we get here? She's like, when we get chunk white tuna for a dollar is absolutely amazing. And I always buy a whole case when we get it, she said. And I was like, oh, wow, yeah. So I never paid attention. I told her, I said, I've never paid attention to that before, but I will. And sure enough, I think the next store I went to, I looked and I found, and she said, we don't get it that often is what she said. Bumblebee, Bumblebee Chunk White Albacore. So, you know, it's a little, it's drier, but it's it's whiter and less fishy um, than the chunk light. So this is chunk white albacore in water. So I picked up a couple cans of this. This is good until March 1st, 2024. So that's awesome. And then, okay, so I picked up some of the stuff that I need to make my Dollar Tree pasta fazool. If anybody's interested in seeing that, let me know down below in the comments. I never know like what to show because in my opinion, like I can cook, cook and I can bake, bake, but I don't do it often enough now with as busy as life is. So to me, the stuff that I make is just like super easy and like not really cooking does that make any sense so that's why like i don't show it because i'm like this isn't cooking this is throwing everything into a pot but it you know some people might appreciate that so i don't know but let me know if you want to see everything is from dollar tree in my pasta fazool and it is absolutely delicious um my husband i made it a couple weeks ago my husband could not stop talking about it he thought it was absolutely amazing so i was like well, I'm at Dollar Tree because it was cold and rainy in the summer. But I'm like, let me just get everything in case I want to make it again on a cold and rainy day this summer. And uh, I'll have everything I need. So I picked up, it's like cheating. It's like a cheating pasta fazool, but it's delicious. So I got two cans of the Campbell's tomato soup. The next thing I picked up is one of these cans of Hunt's Fire Roasted Tomatoes. Dice, they are so delicious. They taste grilled. And then I picked up one can of the Green Giant Vegetable Blend. And I also picked up the frozen, the two packs of frozen burgers from Dollar Tree in the cheddar bacon flavor. That is key and that goes in my pasta fazool as well as those Reams egg noodle. I think that's what it's called, right? Reams, I think, egg noodles frozen from Dollar Tree as well. And then cans of kidney beans, which I already had. So and chicken broth, which I already have. Let me know, let me know if you wanna see it. It'd probably be a super short video, but it is banging, just letting you know. Okay, and I think that is it for food and drink, other than two packs of orange Tic Tacs. That'll do it. All right, let's move on to the next category, which is health and beauty. Again, not much, but one thing I was super excited about was this. This is by Natureplex, made in the USA, uh, not originally from Dollar Tree. This is a lidocaine pain and itch relief cream, 4% lidocaine. Getting that for a dollar is unbelievable. So I did pick up several of these. I was super excited. Uh, one ounce, one ounce little tubes, amazing. And then, okay. So if you saw my last haul and try on with my corpsey color, uh, somebody in the comments said, look at the bottom, not the package. So, okay. So I found this one. This is 730 Orchid Ecstasy Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Color. So let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I'm just scared now. I'm just scared. But once again, I do love this packaging. So I'm scared. Let's see. Made in the USA. Oh, okay. That is fun. 
That is very purple. Dare I put it on for the rest of the haul? Uh -huh. It's cute. Cameras are not mirrors. I will say that time and time again. Okay. Okay. Much different than the corpsey color. I'm not mad at it. Then, so I passed up on this a million times. Um, this Tag Sport body wash, 18 fluid ounces. This one is in Dominate. Mm, smells nice. Um, the reason why I finally got it this time is because I saw people, I believe my friends Melissa over at M&M's Hauls and More, um, I saw them haul the deodorant to this and then I saw this. This is what this is what triggered the whole thing. I found the Tag Body Spray in Midnight. It's a two ounce little can. So now if I find the deodorant as well, I got myself a little present for somebody. That's why I did that, because I like to do that stuff. Okay, then I picked up this like imitation gold bond, perfect purity medicated body powder. It is six fluid ounces and it is proudly made in the USA by Davion Inc. in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And it does have menthol in it. Oh yeah, that smells like gold bond. So I actually got that for my son. And then I cannot find my number 10 pudding. <laughs> now that I found the perfect one, I can't find it. So this is almond 13. The pudding is 10 and it goes darker as the numbers go up. But I was like, okay, they had one left of this. I'm like, okay, 13 almond, you know, I'm going to be getting a tan on vacation. So I'm going to give it a try. The lighting here is terrible. Yep, not bad. Okay, that makes me excited. Yes, with a, yeah, oh, that's per. that's great. Oh my goodness. Okay, 10 or 13. Gotta keep that in mind, 10 or 13. Pudding or almond. And that is it for health and beauty. I'm telling you guys, not much. Then we're gonna go through the, uh, uh, car and electronics aisle. There's just two things. So I picked up two more of these lo long funnels by Driver's Choice because if you saw the video last summer when I made my son the water wall, like the water busy wall, we had it out and um, then we left it out and then there was a storm and it blew over and two of these funnels cracked when it fell. So my son was all upset. I'm like, well, hopefully I'll find them again at Dollar Tree and I did. So I got those for replacements. And uh, for our trip, I got myself this adorable little flamingo um, little headphones case. What do they call it? Tech case. Yeah. And I like, it's got the little, little mesh pocket there. And then I got my husband one too, so he's not jealous. And I just got him a solid black one. And that one's like that. And that's it for that aisle. I have one accessory and apparel item. And I just saw these sunglasses while I was waiting online. And I really, really liked them. And uh, again, for our trip, I got my husband the cheap sunglasses that you don't have to worry about. So I was like, let me get some too. So it just looks like that. And there are these big oversized ones. I loved them and they're just all black, black on black. I could picture myself sunning my buns, reading for leisure. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So yes, I got those for a dollar. Uh, let's do some <laughs> housewares, which is two things that never happens. Um, I got these because they smell amazing and you get 55, which is crazy, but this is the Breezy Black in Jasmine Lotus. Oh, so yummy. And then I got two of the 15 count bounce 
because I actually, and it always bounce, it has to be bounced because they really last a long time. I always put uh, bounce sheets in suitcases when we travel so that when you get to your destination, everything's like fresh and it smells so yummy. So I got that and then uh, it appears that every store I've gone to, if they got it at all, has only gotten one little box of these. So um, I think it took me two or three stores to get four of them. I'm lucky I got any, but I, I do use the four gallon bags in my bathroom garbages, which I usually get the roll. And if you get them, you know, those are super thin. So I'm hoping these are better and I'm assuming they will be. So it's the Glad Quick Tie four gallon trash bags with Gain and Febreze. And you get seven in here. So way different than the 40 you get in the roll, but I'm hoping the quality is different. And it's really cute because it has this pop out thing here. So it's like a little little wipes dispenser or like a tissue dispenser, but I have high hopes for those. So I hope I'm not disappointed. Next, I got just a couple of movies. Uh, so the first one I got, uh, I didn't realize I already had. So it's Superman and Friends, 85 minutes long, not rated. So I will either uh, donate this or I'm gonna ask Patty if I've gotten this for her son, William, before. I can't remember, but anyway. So Superman and Friends repurchase unintentional then this looked super cool this is dc universe original movie justice league the new frontier commemorative edition it's rated pg-13 and it is 75 minutes long and the last movie i got oh my gosh i got so excited this is the wild thornberries from nickelodeon do you guys remember this anybody remember this is it just me and uh this is all of season one it is four discs oh my goodness dollar tree i love you so much thank you so yes the wild thornberries i was so excited i squealed i did i did audibly squealed in the store so yeah i got that moving on all right one sticker item so I got these, I'm so excited. I found these and I ended up getting two by accident, but that's fine. So it's a 60 piece by Crafter Square and it's all of these awesome labels. I'm sure you've seen them by now because I also hauled this stuff about a week ago, but I'm just showing you now, but everything and no repeats, no repeats. I'm not gonna read them all, but I will scan through them for you. So cool. So cool. Okay. So that's that. Then let's do toys. Honey. So I got two of these for my son. These are Transformers Bot Bots Series 5. Two modes by Hasbro. And uh, you get one. And I have no idea because there's like no real picture kind of of what they look like other than that illustration on the side. I don't know, but I love Transformers. So I thought that was cool. Then I got this ice cream cone squishy. They're huge. And I showed the other flavors in the walkthrough, but I picked this one because I thought it looked the most realistic. They are super squishy and slow rising. I got that and then I got sorry Henny does not allow anyone to walk down the street that's not allowed um I Hennessy sorry I got this for my son just kind of like as a sensory toy um and they had a few other colors I showed in the walkthrough I actually screenshotted this when I saw my friend Sweet Sadie J over at Sweet Sadie J TV show this in purple. And I was like, oh, I should probably get that for myself. But I didn't. I didn't. And um, yeah, so I got it in this neon yellow for my son. I was good. And then my son doesn't know about this yet. And he's going to freak because this has been his newest obsession in the past week. 
I got him like a small little bug kit from there once and he's been going around collecting things. This is a bigger one. This is Backyard Travels three piece of bug catching kit. So you get a little net and then you get this little container and tweezers in there. The other one that he has is like a tiny little specimen thing with tweezers and I think a tiny magnifying glass was the other kit. He's gonna love this. And then the last toy item, I saw my friends Melissa and Michelle over at M&M's Holes and More show this quite a while ago and I screenshotted it and I gave up, but it did show up at my store. So I got two of these, one for my son, one for toys for tots. This is Play School, um, but it is imported by Greenbrier. Play School Chalk Activity Pack. I thought this was really cool. Uh, you get two chalk holders and then one chalk rake and it also comes with three stencils and five sidewalk chalks all together these look standard size so i think the bucket would refill that well it's got a giraffe and a monkey that's so cute so yes one for toys for tots one for little man and uh that's it for toys moving on is this the last category i think this is the last category mm, last category is going to be party so the first thing I found in party was another AmScan item. <laughs> it's this giant glitter photo prop. And it says, woohoo. So you can use it as a photo prop or you can hang it on the wall as a sign, but it is 27 inches long, 13 inches high. So I thought that was great and you never know. Then this is, this could have been housewares, this could have been party, but I'm just gonna go with party, I don't know. This chalkboard sign, now I was seeing them, I don't know. I feel like this is different than the first time I saw them, but I just picked one up again for pictures, for pictures for like birthdays for my son. So you can put his name there, um, put his height, how many teeth he has, which is all of them because he's not a baby. Um, I am however years old and then a little something about him there. I just thought that'd be cute for pictures for us. And then for the pineapple mojitos, I got these and it was the last pack left and it wasn't in the right spot. I was seeing all the flamingos and I'm like, gosh, darn it. When I have a thought, it's always too late or a need. It's always too late, but I found one pack left. So it's these really cute paper straws with little honeycomb pineapples that'll open. It's in the summer party section. So I thought that would be a nice little additional treat to my stepfather's pineapple mojitos on his birthday. These are repurchases, but again, so the first time I ever saw them, I found two, two packs left in a store. Never saw them again. Then I finally saw them again at a different store and there was two, two left. So that's my lucky number. And I picked up more of my favorite plates ever made in the history of plates, I think. And you get 18 of these in here. They are eight and three quarter inches in diameter. And I am in love with these plates. And I picked up, I think just one more pack of these napkins because I only got two packs the first time. And I was like, I should just have these for any time we're eating dessert, right? So you get 20 luncheon napkins in here printed on both sides. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I got that. Then this was on the clearance shelf and it is these really cute glitter hard plastic plates and i counted there are seven so there's one missing and they were 50 cents so i'm no mathematician but that's a pretty good deal considering only one is missing so i picked those up can always use those and these are repurchases sorry for turning away these are repurchases i picked up two of these for a friend it is this silver gold and black beaded stretch bracelet by amscan and then I saw something new. Oh my gosh, guys, this is going to be the last item in this haul. I saw a new Amscan item and I'm sending this to a friend too. Um, they, this actually like matches the bracelets and it is this three pack of long beaded necklaces in black, gold, and silver. So yeah, 
48 inches. But that was really cool. So that's that. That's going to do it for today's actually normal size haul. And that goes to show you without a doubt that my Dollar Trees have nothing. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, I would love for you to consider doing so and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you. And we tend to have a lot of fun here. Once you hit that subscribe button, make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. You don't miss any of the giveaways. And most importantly, you don't miss winning any of the giveaways. Because if you watch me regularly, you know that that is a common problem that I have and I hate it. So please make sure that notification bell is turned on. Until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you. I truly, truly do.